How does it make you feel that you're part of a family that seems to have not been really loved or appreciated by the people? It's really sad and I've, in the last few days I've apologized to Quarant to, that uh, we're very sorry on behalf of my brother what is done. We were brought up in UK, we studied in UK, so when he became governor I was expecting a change, you know, for him to do something different, but fortunately... You're disturbing me a bit because mm -hmm. you're like really going low, low on your brother. You should, you should be a lie, but yeah, that doesn't stop this. me in telling the truth. Well, when I was campaigning, I told people that, yes, politicians use you as stock. They give you knives, they give you everything. You go there, kill yourself. Meanwhile, their children are abroad studying. So even though we're the same blood, we have different mindsets, we have different spirit. Yeah, even, even Different upbringing. Even if we're twins and they're identical, you see the different thing. We've not served to me. I'm not happy the way my brother served Quarant. And that's why I spoke out in th when I saw him in 2007 first, and I told him privately, and I, that was how this drift started. And I said, listen, what you're doing is not good. That was when the Zimbabwe farmers started, and people in um, uh, Shonga was complaining that they took Saraki's family, took their land and everything. And I said, okay, there's a way you can go about it, because to me it's oppression. I lived in the UK. You don't do such things. You don't okay, oppress let me, let people me come, like let me, that. Let me come to, to you. I'll come to you right here. Mm. I also come from a polygamous family, mm. and my mother is the first wife. So I understand how this thing somewhat plays out. Mm. A child who we hear about somewhere, <clears throat> we don't know you. My father didn't officially tell me that you're my sibling, you're my sister. Mm. And we just heard of you. You show up. There's always a part of humility that comes in. Okay, you know what? You come in. To, into the family, mm -hmm. and there's a part of, listen, I'm trying to reconcile with you. you. Mm -hmm. If you come in with, listen, you guys have messed this, this place up, I'm the child, I'm a legitimate child, I'm this. If you come with that kind of arrogance, people, mm -hmm. they, they will definitely they will, they will be repulsive. So do you think mm -hmm. you play that humility card of, listen, guys, yes, I've been out of there, I'm back now, receive me, welcome me, reconcile me with the family, or did you come with the arrogance that said, you know what, we don't even want a part of you. I can do this better. I was never out there, they know I exist, we're okay. different mother, everybody knows each other. Okay. But when it comes to politics in this right. country, right. you just say what you want people to know. Okay. Mm. You That's understand? Oh, right. So everybody knows who Baba's children are, yes. as you've said, you all know. But when it comes, or especially when you're not agreeing with the other party, right. they tend to paint you as, oh, you're the rebellious child, you're the this child, child, child. Your father was um, chairman of Society General. That's correct. And it's chopped people's money. <laughs> my, mother, my mother's money included. Oh, God. I apologize. My mother's <laughs> money was there. Are you going to talk bad about your father now? No, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about it. It's late, yeah, so there's you, nothing you, to you talk chop about. people's money. I apologize. Later, later, alive, you still chop mother, people's money. I really yeah, apologize. Well, let's, let's try to round up this whole political angle. What's your political future? Would you plan to go back to Kwara to run at some point? Do you plan to reconcile with your brother at some point? What exactly is your plan? I'm no, number one, I'm not fighting him, even though he may be fighting me because of speaking out. So I'm not fighting with him. I still love him. <laughs> so... Um, like contesting, I'm not really into this contesting. I just want the ele governor elect to just give me the chance to do what I want to do. I don't have to be in office to do what I want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. What so, do you want to do? To solve the quarrels, just to, in a way to say oh. we're sorry. Nemesis will catch up. I don't want any nemesis to catch up with my children or my grandchildren or even upon me. Because once you cause, like what um, your colleagues have said, that mm -hmm. The parents had money in this bank and mm. collapsed. Do you know what pain they would have gone through at that particular time? Mm. I don't want my children or myself, I don't want any cost upon myself or my children, so that's why I'm saying the truth out. My, uh, my brother has not served quarrels the way he's supposed to, <coughs> and I apologize. What would he have Did done? your father?